Okay, okay, what is up guys? Welcome back. And before I actually show you the tutorial on how to do the anime spiral effect in both DaVinci Resolve and Adobe After Effects, I just want to say we're super close to 60,000 subscribers. So drop a sub, it is 100% free. Also feel free to drop a like and comment. Give me some feedback down below what you want to see in the channel in the future in terms of tutorials. And uh, all the presets, timestamps, downloads will be in the description if you want to skip ahead to either editing software. Hope you guys do enjoy though, and I'll see you on my PC. Alright guys, so to start off, we're in DaVinci Resolver in a 1920 by 1080 60 FPS project. We're just going to import all our assets real quick. So for me, I'm just going to import the clip I'm going to be using, which is going to be this like Mongrel Classic Aura clip. Uh, it's from Joji, it's a practice clip. And then we're also going to go down to our music folder, and we're going to get the... Uh, song out of time or out of time i guess you could say there's no of in it i guess and then we're also going to go down and find the uh the download for the anime build up and then we're also going to get the over edit build up thing and then you can add your own sound effect for shotgun afterwards but uh, we're just going to drag in the song out of time and we're going to find the beat drop so right here Boom, perfect. And. Okay, so then we're gonna cut it right here. And then we'll kind of go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames back. Do this, and then we'll do kind of a nice little fade just like this. Let's just see if this sounds good. We'll drag that to the other side. Maybe not as an aggressive uh, fade out with the audio. As I thought it should be. Something like that should be good. Got it. Got them. I was a lot of things. Yep. Alright. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. Sorry. 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 Uh, but yeah, we're gonna line up our thing with the marker. We're gonna drag these down an audio track. We're gonna select our clip. Find the part we want to use right here. Drag that in. Just like this and line that up with the kill you're gonna need twixer for this by the way guys and actually sorry i lied don't line it up with the kill so make sure you follow along with this we're actually going to line up the part where the song kind of fades out with after he edits the ramp just like that don't worry if it doesn't line up with the kill right here and it's a bit early we will fix it delete your audio of the clip because we're going to be adding our own shotgun effect and we're going to go into the fusion tab starting at this point right here and then what we're gonna do just press control space add twixter which you can download i'll have dave's tutorial in the description go back one frame from this point keyframe it at a hundred percent speed go one to the right keyframe it at 30 and then we're gonna go to our kill right here go back in go one two three four five we're gonna keyframe it at 30 again we're gonna obviously go one two three four five which is gonna be where our kills at on the beat drop and then we're just gonna kind of drag this until we get the kill. Anywhere from like 300 to 500% is good. Uh, so 570, I think, is what we're gonna be doing for this one. And then go two frames after, change it to 50%. That should be good. And we're just going to name this anime spiral effect, just like that. And that should be good for the Twixter. I'm gonna change this to quarter resolution just because it will end up being a bit laggy and um yeah that should be that there's a quarter resolution i don't know why it's not changing there we go and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually add the spiral so we're going to kind of find this point we're just going to add a marker here we're going to drag in the spiral and what we're going to do is we're actually going to do retime controls we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight frames back start the spiral on that point and then we're going to actually Drag the spiral so it's faster up until this point right here. No idea. Sometimes it's acting up. Obviously, you can see that wasn't planned. But uh, we're going to select this layer right here. We're going to change this to composite mode of add. And then we're just going to kind of mess around with the zoom and the position, all that. I'm actually going to do something like this. Do something like that. You can see it's a bit... Hmm. Let's, we might just do a screen just because it might be a bit Okay, I'm gonna do add 
then I'm just going to do a bit of a spiral effect, just like that. That honestly should be fine, doesn't really matter. And I'll do a zoom. You can't really notice the separation of the, because there's kind of a separation between the two colors. It's lighter than the other. But we're actually going to go eight frames back, keyframe the opacity at zero, and then on this marker, bring it up to 100. And then obviously at the kill, we'll just have it the way it is. Just like that. Set that up. And then we're also going to drag on a Magic Bullet Looks. By the way, to import the Magic Bullet Looks preset, I'll have a tutorial in the description, like an unlisted tutorial that I have on the channel. It's not an actual video I've made. But yeah, make sure you go check that out. And we're actually going to drag on, I believe it was the Godly Red CC. And from there, um, I'm just going to go into the looks and delete the color filter because it makes it look kind of weird. And I just don't feel like making a completely new preset. But keyframe the strength of the looks at the very beginning. Go to the marker, keyframe it at 100, kind of where we have the vortex peaking at. Just like that. And then obviously we're going to go to the kill, go to 100, go one frame after, keyframe it at zero. And then also, what you're going to do is you're going to drag in this over edit build up. And you're going to have it last from before the kill and have the audio peak at kind of where um, the kill happens. And then you'd add your own shotgun effect. So that's pretty much that. And then if you wanted to add an impact, you just go to effects. You go to X right here. You add an adjustment clip. You put that over top. You trim it down. And then you'd add like one of the super clean impacts that I have in my new edit pack. It is only $5. It's like the best edit pack out there. I'm not going to lie. So you go to your impacts. You can just do like, I don't know, new God RGB impact or something like that. You drag it in. It's already keyframed, ready to go. You literally do this, this, and just like that, you have a full on impact, man. Like, look at that super clean RGB impact. And it literally took like two seconds to actually drag onto the clip. But yeah, that's how to do the actual anime vortex kind of thing. Build up. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It's like a vortex spiral type effect. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tutorial check out how to actually import the magic bolt look cc actually that's going to be in the, the description uh, in a mini tutorial that i made it's unlisted on my channel and uh, yeah hope you guys did enjoy this mini tutorial and i'm going to see you guys on after effects all the presets for that will be in the description and uh, yeah see you guys there all right guys so for after effects now i'm in a brand new project 1920 by 1080 we're just going to drag in the clip we're going to be using we're going to go to the music folder again just over here just like this and then we're gonna go down to kind of like a muse the music folder wherever you have it set to and then we're gonna drag in the song out of time and we're gonna drag in the song just like this we're gonna press l on our keyboard twice to bring up the wavelengths or whatever i'm actually going to actually import the overlay before we do anything as well as the overhead to build up sound effect and we're going to just keep on trimming this down until we actually find it okay so this is what we're going to want to do press end on your keyboard to actually add a marker that's what it is for me for you if you don't know how to add a marker just go up here layer markers add marker and we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight frames back cut the clip right here and then obviously right here we're going to go one two three four five ish frames back keyframe the audio levels by pressing l on your keyboard and then keyframe this at 30 at the very end. And then for this one, we're going to do the exact same thing. Negative 30 at the beginning. And then on the kill, it's going to be zero, just like this. And then we're going to kind of distance them out a bit. Okay. Perfect. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. All we got to do for our clip now is we're just going to select it. And we're going to do use these arrows kind of here on, on the left side. Obviously, we're going to drag that out a bit, drag that on the right. And then what we're going to do is this point where it fades out right here. We're going to line that up with after he edits the, the ramp and like the mongrel classic. And I recommend using a mongrel classic clip because these buildups always look good on those clips. And just like that, you can see if it doesn't line up perfectly, that's fine because we don't really need it to because we're going to be doing all that ourselves manually. Uh, so for that... Just something like that should be good. So for a Twixter, just add a Twixter on there. Uh, I press control space because I have a plugin for it, but you can go to effects and presets and just look it up manually. Change your Twixter to 60 FPS. Keyframe it at 100 right after he edits the ramp. Go one frame to the side, change it to 30. We're going to add a marker at this point on our clip. And then right about on the kill, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five frames back. Bring our, our keyframe menu by pressing U. 
keyframe it at 30 five frames before the kill and then we're just going to drag it until we have like a nice little acceleration 670 percent is what we have it at anywhere from like a 300 to 800 percent is good anything more than that is just a bit too much perfect should be good and then right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in our vortex just like this or our anime build up i guess you could call it just like that we can have it right here we want to start eight frames before so one two three four five six seven eight frames before we'll start it right here change the mode to add which is the mode i've been using for all the vortexes and then we're going to have it so we want it to end right here so we're going to press Control alt t this is actually to make it faster just br bring that uh, keyframe over and we can see that it's moving a lot faster than it was before uh, obviously i'm going to go in quarter resolution just so it isn't uh, super laggy we're going to select these keyframes press f9 on your keyboard go in here and then we're going to kind of bring it up just like this and what that'll do is it'll have an acceleration and obviously it goes slower into a fast acceleration than the impact will hit and it's like just a super 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 clean effect and what we're going to do for this press s on your keyboard up the scale a bit and we're just going to kind of drag it down just like that that should be good perfect and now all we got to do is just press control space or whatever you do to add looks we're going to add that to our clip itself we're going to go into edit looks add the red looks preset delete the color filter just for this one because we don't really need it keyframe the or the strength right here at a at a zero sorry and then on the marker keyframe it at 100 and then to actually line it up with this we're going to press t on our keyboard on the anime build up vortex layer and we're going to keyframe the opacity at 100 on the marker and zero just so it kind of does the exact same thing as the magic bullet looks just like that does the little vortex effect and then we're going to keyframe the magic bullet looks on the kill at 100 go one frame after keyframe it at zero just that way it's all the way back down to normal all we got to do from there go to the marker where we get our kill drag the over edit build up just like this press l on our keyboard twice so we can line that up Pe uh, drag in the peak so it's like lined up with a marker and then obviously we'd add our impact by the way if you want a super clean impact i have a ton of them in my brand new edit pack i'll quickly show you one of them it's only five dollars so i definitely re recommend picking it up it has everything it has build-ups impacts so many different things bro like please go pick it up it'll just make you 10 times better at highlights editing for 100 percent free and then that will be that just like this super clean just like that and that is pretty much it other than the fact that if you want to go extra saucy add an adjustment layer above everything and then what we're going to do is we're going to go on the kill go to animation apply animation preset go to your ae presets go to your presets right here various effects wherever you have it saved to and then you can do the screen pup in out preset that i'll have in the description and what that'll do like trust me it's so clean especially for this effect you're literally going to take the first keyframe and drag it out to the beginning of the vortex thing right here what it does is it does like a zoom in and then it does like a nice out impact just like that super 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 clean i definitely recommend picking it up but obviously you'd add your own shotgun sound effect you could add like one of maxi's sound effects or one of devour rambo's sound effects he has like some of them on his channel i definitely recommend going checking out rambo he has really good tutorials and i uh, hope you guys did enjoy this though all you got to do is just render that out afterwards and uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in a new video. Run away from the past and the nonsense. Tired of toxic games, not an option. Made it out from the mud. I'ma find this. Taking off hella fast. I'm a Martian. Yeah, pressure on my body on sink. Yeah, never had a copy for the clicks. Nah, nah. Ayy, money always got me feeling.